Quatamac, Quatamac Vargas get ready to go. And he, all in red is Vargas from Mexico City, living in the United States now. The southpaw, the flashy southpaw from Puerto Rico, Juan Manuel Lopez. Sticks that jab. Moving left, he wants to move Vargas to the right and into his power. That left hand, let's see if he could drill it. Steve, as you said, Vargas definitely not as hard a hitter, but he is game start to finish. Uh, you see the experience, the reason Vargas has so many more rounds. Lopez just been getting rid of everybody in one, two, or three rounds. Awesome counter punch from Lopez there, the left, and there he's banging the left again. But the key, the jab, and Vargas, as you said, you don't want to get backed up. He's got to try to push Lopez back at times. And it is Vargas trying to stalk Lopez, and Lopez very content. He really prefers when somebody comes to him, as he told us. Yeah, but I, I have a feeling this is going to be a temporary strategy by uh, Wanma. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah, he's he's going to he's going to back up his man eventually. Yeah, he's definitely with shots him. like that. There, working behind the jab, it's key. And Vargas's dilemma, or at least his obstacle, or I should say, the challenge is to get around Lopez's jab. And boy, he really hits it. He really fires stuff with conviction, as Lopez. Missing there. But Vargas just pulling up short. Instead of making him pay with a counter punch, Vargas finally sticks in the jab and gets drilled with a counter left hand. And drilled with a right hand. So we see a lot more hand speed than perhaps we'd expect from Lopez. Yeah, I don't, I don't think of Lopez being fast at all. I think he throws very straight punches. He has good timing. Great timing. He's physically strong. I'm with you. Boy, that two counter punches time just beautifully as he cut Vargas on the short end of the left and then a right. Vargas trying to go to the body. He's in red. Lopez put punches together and tries to drive Vargas back. Under a minute to go here in the first round. And Lopez from Puerto Rico and the Mexican with Hamid Vargas in red. It's our main event here scheduled for 10 rounds. These are junior featherweights. Uh, let, that Mexican left hook from Vargas, but he gets blocked by return fire on the counters from Lopez. It's a lot to like about Lopez, but you see that he throws straight punches. His, straight, his, his left is very straight. You see that he's poised and calm in the ring. He keeps a high guard. He just looks like the whole package. Really coming over the top beautifully. You're right, Steve, with that left hand and trying to really work effectively off that jab and not loading up. Balance look be looks beautiful. Vargas game. I don't know if he wants to be inside and stay inside as we close out the first round here in Phoenix, Arizona. Stop! Two th Boxing 2007 is a magazine put out by the people who uh, publish the Ring magazine, and they have a really interesting feature in uh, the latest issue. It's a feature where they took each division and they wrote who was the best fighter 10 years ago, five years ago, today, and tomorrow. And for the featherweight division, you could see tomorrow's champion, Juan Manuel Lopez, four pounds north of where he is now. At the bottom of the copy, they just said, this is a, this is a prospect, this is a kid who just can't miss. Good, good praise. We've been anxious to see him. And now we're getting our first look here as Juan Manuel Lopez comes from Puerto Rico. Y subirlo con la mano izquierda. Está bien, ¿cómo que? Vamos. Él es árbitro, me dio un golpe de abajo. Outside your ropes. Stay in the corner. Go ahead, Juan. Vargas on the right, on the left, Juan Manuel Lopez. Undefeated. Olympian from the 2004 games in Athens. Vargas standing in the pocket there, but not throwing. And he gets clipped a couple of times as a result. Now he's coming forward, but not firing the jab, not firing anything. He gets moved back. And here we see Lopez moving right briefly and now to the left he's moving in general he's trying to dial in and there behind that jab that straight right that straight left hand he tries again and misses that time Vargas just not putting enough punches together maybe trying to figure out the timing of the Puerto Rico well what you're gonna see happen here Nick right now Lopez very content to counter punch and if he lands enough of those counter punches Vargas is gonna stop coming forward 
He doesn't want to get hit every time he walks in. Gee, Steve, he's got to come in swinging, though, I would think, Vargas, and he's not doing it. He's just walking in and getting hit. And there, I think he would have to counter every power shot from Lopez, so he's not doing either. Yeah, you gotta, he's got to counter the counter puncher is what he's got to do, because Vargas is a, is a volume puncher, and anytime you see tentativeness from a fighter like that, it's because he's getting hit and getting countered. Getting hurt, and he's getting hurt, maybe, or driven back. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, boy, nice little left hand from Vargas, but much stiffer, stronger combinations from Lopez in the white. Lopez content to move left out of the corner there as he comes forward, a little squared up, and Vargas tries to bang with him inside unsuccessfully. Very controlled fight from Lopez, but Vargas certainly fighting within himself. Now he's trying to pump up the volume a little bit offensively, went to the body with a right hand. Vargas against the southpaw, cracks with that left hook. That's a good maneuver and tries a left to the body. So that little lead left hook, shortest distance between two points perhaps for him. He's not jabbing against the southpaw and there we see Lopez, same thing, one, two, trying to maybe put three and four together, but they're content with the jab left hand. Always in combination from Lopez too. You're right. A little a lead right hand, also a good weapon against the softball by Vargas, but he can't follow with anything. And now, as you said, Steve, it's Juan Manuel Lopez inching forward, creating space here, digging to the body, and then doubling up stairs. There's uppercut, so Lopez has been accused of being a little bit wild, but he's fighting very much under control. Definitely the aggressor, and he looks strong. Vargas got to get out of there. He's inside Lopez's wheelhouse, and Lopez break, shortens break, up well. Stop, and stop. Come on. Raises him with a, with a right cross, or a right hook, I should say. Closing out the second round, scheduled for 10, here in Phoenix, Arizona. Stop. Vamos bien, vamos bien, vamos bien, vamos bien, vamos bien. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Vamos bien, vamos bien. We're doing good. Ah, yeah. No te aboraces, no te aboraces, ok? Calmadito, calmadito, don't crazy, calmadito. Don't go crazy, no now. Calm down. Put a little bit more muscle in. Okay. You gotta, you gotta try to work the one two and try to close him out. Le combina, no salgas atrás. Combine, don't stay behind. We have to hit him. You gotta try it different ways. I am looking, I'm looking, I'm trying. You try to hit him in the body a little bit. Round three. Juan Manuel Lopez, the Olympian, undefeated. He's in the mostly white and in all red is Batemic Vargas from Mexico City, living now in the United States. And advice from his corner is start put, putting some punches together. Interesting to hear Lopez say, hey, I'm trying. I am trying something differently. I don't think he's doing a heck of a lot wrong. Now, yeah, the one good thing I heard from the corner, punched to the body a little bit more. You know, Lopez said to us yesterday he prefers when his opponent comes to him. Any good fighter does because you never have to worry about range. Your opponent is walking onto your punches, and you don't have to go chase and worry that your opponent's going to be walking away from your punches. Right. So in that sense, Vargas right, right, is making right, it very easy for Lopez. Right, and also I think Lopez has taken the extra step by moving out on an angle and, and just turning Vargas into shots. He just did it there with that left hand. But there, now driving back Vargas. So again, he's having it both ways is Juan Manuel Lopez driving Vargas back again with a combination and then lacing him up the middle with that lead left hand. Really trying everything, Steve, and most of it pretty effective. Yeah, he's he's taking more of a boxer's approach than I anticipated. I thought he'd try to back Vargas up. He doesn't feel the need to do that. He's boxing nicely. And the nicest thing about this kid, two-handed fighter. I can't tell you how many southpaws, they might as well throw their right hands out the window. They're all left-handed. This kid punches with both hands, the hook and the cross, and the jab for that matter. Yeah, we've seen it all already, and we're only in the third round, scheduled for 10. But a tough guy in Potemic Vargas in red. He has been down twice in his career. He got TKO'd by a perfect uh, body shot in his only loss. 
but he looks like a difficult guy to discourage, but Lopez seems like a very difficult guy to solve. Very tough, very strong. Doesn't try to be too cute, but as you said, he could box and boy, he could punch. Nice double right hand from Lopez as he comes and eats a shot from Vargas to give one of his own. Let go, let go, let go. Break, come on. Lopez, very good guard there. Here's Vargas just walking in. Now he sticks to the jab. It was short, but at least he came in throwing something. And on the uh, way out, landed that left hook. Partly a slip, it looked like, Steve. I didn't think he got hit that flush on that one. But, but here, Lopez seems to be revving up the attack a little bit. It's early in this fight, Nick, but it's a critical juncture right here for Vargas. What he has to decide is, does he want to come forward and get hit and try to win, or does he want to back up, get hit less, and probably and minimize his chances to win? Oh, yeah, I don't think he have any kind of a shot. Lopez isn't standing around necessarily waiting to be hit. There, now Vargas trying to come in with something. He gets clipped in an exchange there and stop, driven stop, back just stop. before the bell. Come on, go ahead and breathe. First, and you see uh, Tommy Morrison, who was actually supposed to be on this card, but he has an injury to his left hand. 38 years old, Steve. Yeah, and you know what? Ever since he tested positive HIV, every test he's taken since, every blood test has been negative. So uh, there's a very good chance he's going to he's get his license back. Well, how many times are you going to say the wide open heavyweight division, <laughs> the openings are wider than ever, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Why not? <laughs> Uh, he's a name. He has name value, that's for sure. We're in Phoenix, Arizona. This is action from round three, Steve. Very, very straight shots from Lopez. The left hand, and he's Second been jabbing. Down. You saw a little bit of a jab there after the left. He's been jabbing quite a lot, and effectively, too, in terms of establishing range. Now, Vargas in a dilemma, as you mentioned. Do you go forward, eat some shots, and give yourself a, a better chance of winning or getting knocked out, perhaps? Lopez does have a dozen knockouts in his 14 wins and 14 fights. But again, uh, fair to say that this is the biggest step up for Lopez? Yes, I, I think uh, he's fought, he fought Adele Ruiz, who has 14 losses, but who's a very tough fighter. And he fought Luis Bolaño, who fought for a world title. So I think Gomez, uh, uh, Vargas, excuse me, is on the level of those guys. And there we see nice combination from Lopez. But here, finally, cracking back is Vargas, but he gets hit on the way out by a nice, ex in, in the exchanges from Lopez. So at least Vargas coming to fight here as he starts to air it out a little offensively. He's inside, and now he tries to shorten up inside unsuccessfully. Trying to keep the guard up. Let's see if he can. Boy, he is really susceptible to those uppercuts when he's coming in. So Lopez trying to time him and catch him leaning a little bit. Vargas knows how to fight. He doesn't necessarily have the kind of power, though, to discourage Lopez or take him out of, out of stride and pull him out of sync somehow. There's that uppercut from Lopez landing as he gets a full steam ahead, but backs off now to create range. Is there, is there a punch that we have not seen yet from Lopez? Uh, uh, everything, every punch there is. There was a left hook from Vargas, but you know, I really like something that Lopez is doing. He just takes that little half step back there, trying to create that full extension, and he has that beautiful straight left hand. So he's getting the full extension on a lot of shots. It'll be interesting to see, let's see how tough he is inside if he elects to stay there. Vargas. Not punching anymore here. And Lopez having his way, and Lopez, his entire career, Steve's had his way. Break, so break, stop, stop. No adversity faced by the Puerto Rican yet in his 14 fights. Can Vargas deal him some here tonight? Vargas tried to land with him with a right hand, right to the body. And Vargas there fighting inside there, but getting driven back and discouraged. Lopez just looks like the much stronger guy, doesn't he, Steve? Much stronger. He just landed a nice combo left to the stomach and left to the head. That's the only thing that's been missing is the body punching. But it's tough to land consistently to the body when your opponent is at, is at, a, at, at a distance. Well, both these guys know how to fight. Lopez uh, got around that hook pretty easily. Vargas really needs to drill those punches. Do something to discourage Lopez's forward progress here. 
Lopez mostly in the white. He has unbeaten Vargas with just a single loss. But again, this is just his second fight in 15 months. He gets ripped by a right uppercut from Lopez just before the bell here to end round four. Come on, Warren, let's go, baby boy. Stop. Go ahead, give him some water. Go ahead, go ahead speed right here. Take him with, take him with water. Actions from round four. Again, I ask the question, is there any punch Lopez doesn't have? You see him there, leads with a left to the stomach and comes back with a right uppercut. That's a very creative uh, southpaw combination. And here he misses with the, well, that's the same combination. He missed with the left to the body and then landed the right uppercut. And there, leads to the body again and comes back upstairs. That's the combo I like. Two left hands, the only danger there, his hand is down. He could have gotten uh, hit with the right hand. Counter punch. If you combine well, we're going to finish him up. We're doing okay. Come on, you got to hit a little bit harder. I like that advice, Steve. Trainer Alex Caraballo has been in Juan Manuel Lopez's corner his entire career as uh, amateur and professional. So he knows him well, and he wants more from the young, tough, undefeated softball Puerto Rico. Vargas got to get busier, and that's what they're yelling in the corner. He just has to start firing punches. And as you see, Lopez, uh, he probably threw 10, 11, 12 jabs already this round. He's the fighter with a two-inch reach disadvantage. It's not about reach, it's about timing. Oh, a nice left hook there from Vargas. So finally a, a cleanup counter punch that lands, and he tried the hook again to the body. So a couple of connects there, at least for Vargas. He may get a little dose of confidence. Doesn't want to get too crazy, as they said, and run into something dangerous. Unable to pull the trigger there is Vargas in red. Vargas, a little success with the, the weapon you don't usually associate against lefties, which is the left hook. Well, even though, you know, you're looping the punch, it is, it's a shorter distance to the target with a, with a left-hander. So, if it's working, let's see if he goes back to it. Nice follow-up right hand from Vargas, at least. And now clinching inside, and they'll get broken up. There you go. And here comes Lopez. He is all over him again. It took about five rounds, Nick, but Lopez is the aggressor now in terms of coming forward. Yeah, that was a belt line blow from Lopez, that left hand. And then a clubbing left in return from Vargas. Vargas trying to run down. He's not going to run through Lopez as he keeps getting driven back. Their combination for the body by Vargas is red. So now he'll try to duke with Lopez. And the exchange is there and holding his own pretty well. Certainly not punching as powerfully, but not getting driven back this time as Vargas. Well, when Lopez gets that full oh, load of steam stop. up. Stop! Keep that hand off the back of the head. Look at the size of Lopez's shoulders, Nick. He's got those cannonball shoulders. He does. This fight is really sailing along. We're nearly at the halfway mark. Vargas is a very tough fighter. Won't go that easily. As we said, he's been down, dropped twice, and stopped by a, by a, a hook to the body. And then he tries one of his own there. Lopez is the softball following behind that jab with that straight. Turns over that left hand beautifully. Vargas' mouth is wide open now. Break, break, come on. Come on, let's go. Uh, uh. Oh, Lopez sticking his tongue out at uh, Vargas' corner. Interesting. And Lopez with a double jab connected on the second one. Looks like he's had it mostly his way this fight, certainly this round, as we hit the halfway mark Stop. of our main Stop. event. That's all he's got. Yeah, he's looking good. Looking good. Let them fight it. Let them fight it. Let them fight it. Deep breath. That's it. Arriba. Come on, breathe. Breathe. Stand up. Look at that. 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 Look at
Vamos, Tony. Vamos, Tony. Pero se está burlando de uno, Tony. No, es que Show is strong to me. Okay. Tenés el quinto, es el quinto round, ¿ok? This is the fifth round. Ok. Take your time. No te aborraces, no te aborraces, ¿ok? Don't get crazy now. Come on, Tony. Vamos. I don't know quite what he means by that, Steve. Don't get crazy. <laughs> I like, hey, the guy's got nothing left. He's done. Meanwhile, you know, poor uh, Vargas, he, he, he's beaten up. He's, he's, uh, he's marked. His arms probably feel like they weigh about 200 pounds each. And the other guy's done. Well, someone's hitting him. <laughs> Psychology of corner men. you got to love it. Now we look at the southpaw, Lopez, now trying to track down and run over Vargas. Well, Vargas has never tried probing, sticking. He gets caught with a counter punch. Seemed to wake up and rile Juan Manuel Lopez with that exchange. He's got to win some of these flurries, Steve. He's got to win some of these exchanges. Well, his chance was to outwork Lopez. He's not doing it. The difference in power and physical strength is obvious, and he's just not in a shootout. He's not going to win. So if he's not right, throwing right, 100 stop. punches around, Come on. how is he supposed to win? That is the difference, Steve. You know, you, you might say, well, Vargas has to take Lopez deep. I suggested that before. Sure, but Lopez isn't taking enough of a pounding or fighting at the other guy's pace to get tired. I mean, he's going to be fresh after uh, seven, eight, nine rounds. So he looks at here, Lopez in the white. Looks like he could comfortably ahead lands there with a, sort of a hybrid uh, jab, almost a hook. And Vargas not not making him pay for walking in that way. He's just not punching now. He's just waiting to react. Instead, he eats a, a jab and moves out to the left and now the right. But Vargas in the red, unable to really put stuff together here offensively in this round, particularly. Lopez almost like a sparring session at this point. I'm not saying he's landing convincingly, but he's absolutely controlling the range and the pace of this round. Right, stop, stop. Come on. You know, I'm not sure if it's just his build or not, but doesn't Lopez look bigger? I mean, just, you know, I know he's taller, a couple inches taller. Yet Vargas told us he'd probably put on more weight after the weigh-in than uh, Lopez did. Yeah, he looks, he definitely does look like a bigger man. It might be weight distribution. You know. Vargas trying a little bit of everything here and now getting backed off. There's the exchanges. Approaching the 30-second mark here of the sixth round. These are 122 pounders. Juan Manuel Lopez on the right is undefeated. He's come from Puerto Rico. And from Mexico City is Batamic Vargas with only a single loss. Both guys in their early 20s. Lots of upside, but obviously a vital fight for both. Break, break, hold, hold, come on. Break, break, stop. Hey, ho, 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 you. Watch that elbow. Showbox is back in two weeks with another doubleheader featuring prospects in action. Unbeaten Timothy Bradley makes his second Showbox appearance when he faces former world title challenger Michael Clark. Then it's a battle of 22-year-old junior middleweights when undefeated James Kirkland takes on Billy Lyle. We hope you'll join us for the next edition of Showbox The New Generation Friday night, February 2nd at 11 Eastern and Pacific here on Showtime. <laughs> Do you do you want to come out? Are you okay, sure? No, I'm Maybe giving up. No, I'm giving up. He doesn't. I'm not coming out. No. I'm I have taken too many punches. Okay, okay that one. That's it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. He doesn't want to go Bobby. out. He doesn't want to come out again. Bobby. That's all. That's all. Javier yeah, Gomez, our translator, made it abundantly, sure? perfectly clear. Sure? This fight is yeah. over. Stop. Mike Tonamak Vargas had his ambition taken away by this man. As Juan Manuel Lopez makes his showbox debut with an impressive, I would arguably say, wall to wall stoppage of Vargas, who retires on his stool. After six.
had the fight simply taken out of him, Steve. And, you know, he's in a, again, a fight you can't win, and he saw it. Nick, you know, in some ways, when you when you make a guy quit, that's even more impressive than knocking him out because he's taking his heart away. And, you know, Var Vargas is a, is a tough guy. Stopped once, down twice, but, you know, goes long at most fights. Uh, there's, there's just very little criticism, negative criticism, about Lopez tonight. Well, Vargas is the guy who had been 10 rounds. He only won the two here. His second fight in 15 months, but credit this guy. It wasn't a question of Vargas not being in shape or ready. It was a question of... Lopez overwhelming him and overmatching him to move to 15 and 0 with 13 stoppages. So the southpaw was determined and focused bell to bell here as he looked impressive in his showbox debut. Give me some kind of man.